Welcome, boxing fans. Today, we're diving deep into the legendary career of the undefeated champ, Floyd Money Mayweather. Everyone knows about his incredible record, but let's talk about the fights that truly tested his limits. The battles that left him marked, the opponents who pushed him to the brink. Let's explore the bloodiest fights of Floyd Mayweather. Our first stop is a name that sends shivers down the spine of even the most hardened Mayweather fan. Jose Luis Castillo. Jose Luis Castillo, a relentless warrior from Mexico, was Mayweather's first real test. Known for his relentless pressure and iron chin, Castillo was a nightmare matchup for many. His style was simple yet brutally effective. Come forward, throw punches in bunches, and don't stop until the bell rings. Castillo was not your average opponent. Mayweather was used to being the boss of the ring, picking and choosing his shots. But Castillo? Nah, he was all about chaos. This dude dragged Mayweather into a messy brawl. It was unlike anything Floyd had seen before. Castillo turned it into a full-on phone booth brawl. Basically, a street fight in a ring totally flipping the script on the usually untouchable Money Mayweather. Now Castillo's grabbing him. He's trying <laughs> This fight is etched in boxing lore as one of the closest contests of Mayweather's career. Castillo's constant aggression forced Mayweather to expend an unusual amount of energy. The champion's face bore the marks of war, his eyes swollen shut, and his body covered in bruises. Many observers, including this one, felt Castillo deserved the decision. For the winner by unanimous decision, and new lightweight champion of the world! Next up is the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. On paper, it was a dream matchup two of the biggest stars in boxing colliding. But this fight was more than just a spectacle. It was a war. Oscar had a whole different vibe for Mayweather. With his killer combo of speed, power, and top-notch ring smarts, De La Hoya was a serious threat. He could mix it up inside or outside the ring, making him a real puzzle for Floyd to solve. Mayweather, known for his legendary defense, had to bring his A-game to deal with De La Hoya's intense pressure. The fight turned into a high-stakes chess match, with both fighters strategizing hard to outwit each other. De La Hoya's relentless attacks had Mayweather working harder than ever, and you could see the battle taking its toll on Floyd's face. Oscar reaching, having trouble finding Mayweather. There'll be a lot of that. And Oscar's doing a very good job of neutralizing Mayweather. He fights in staccato bursts. He likes it that way. De La Hoya trying to pressure, pressure, pressure. Looking for one more big counter shot. Yeah, Oscar, Oscar looking for one definitive rally down the... ...been taking place. You saw the CompuBox numbers, which slightly favored De La Hoya. This was the only time Floyd went to a split decision. The bout was a showcase of two of the pound-for-pound -pound best in the world, and it lived up to the hype. Mayweather secured the dub in the end, but the battle was intense. De La Hoya's performance didn't just put him in the spotlight, it cemented his legacy as one of the all-time greats. This fight proved that even the best can be pushed to their absolute limits, and it was a classic reminder of why the sport of boxing is so thrilling. This fight proved Floyd wasn't invincible. Now, here's where it gets juicy. After the fight, Floyd's dad and trainer, Jeff Mayweather, had a chat with Oscar De La Hoya's sister. And get this, he told her that he actually thought her brother won that bout. Talk about dropping a bombshell. That's some wild behind the scenes drama that adds a whole new layer to the story. Your sister said that Floyd Sr. went up to her after the fight and said you won. Yeah, yeah, which is pretty, pretty, I mean, Floyd Sr., he's, he's a very honest individual and, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, he, he, I guess he's, he said, yeah, look, your, your brother won. Did you I think felt, so? I, I just felt I did. I mean, it, it's, it's one of those fights where it could have gone either way, you know? Miguel Cotto, the Puerto Rican warrior, was a force of nature. With incredible power, 
relentless aggression, and an iron will, Kato was a dangerous opponent for anyone. His style was all about pressure and punishment, forcing opponents to fight on his terms. Kato, who came into the ring heavier and presumably stronger than Mayweather, brought a fresh twist to the fight by switching to southpaw. This combo of power and new angles pushed Floyd into unfamiliar territory, forcing him to deal with challenges he hadn't faced in a long time. It was a strategic move that took Mayweather out of his usual comfort zone and made the fight even more intense. He came forward relentlessly, throwing punches in combinations and never giving Mayweather a moment to breathe. He gets low shots off the rim. Cody was firing up a cut at him. On the end of the promotion last second. Third one's taken on the down. Comes with a sneaky uppercut. Even his cut. I'm beginning to think the boy Mayweather might be the best I've ever seen now. Here's a day. He wants to show this guy what a good Floyd's throwing. He's catching a piece of Miguel Cotto. He goes to junior. And Tony Mayweather chooses. Parks him with a couple and loads up his right hand. On the book of the Miguel is funny. Mayweather in the red trunks. You don't have to let him come all the way in. Outboxing him from the outside. Watch I clipping him with shots. Oh. 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 The color just does that. Part of that is because he's constantly getting a little comes in. And Mayweather hits him like he's hit the speed. Solid shot upstairs. Instead. The fight was a brutal affair, with both fighters showing incredible heart and determination. Mayweather's defensive skills were put to the ultimate test as he was forced to take more punishment than usual. Cotto's punches had serious power. Mayweather's face was a battleground. His eyes were swollen shut and cuts were opening up. The blood was everywhere. It was clear that Cotto was landing some heavy blows. Mayweather himself stated after the fight that Cotto was his toughest opponent yet. Cotto was tougher. Miguel Cotto was my toughest, uh, the toughest fighter I, I faced thus far. Floyd was uh, muy difícil, muy difícil Miguel Cotto, huh? Marcos Maidana, also known as El Chino, was straight up chaos on two legs. This dude didn't fight fair. He fought dirty. With hands like hammers and a chin made of iron, he was a nightmare for anyone. But against Mayweather, it was a whole different level of crazy. Mayweather was used to boxers playing by the rules, but Maidana was the ultimate rule breaker. He was all about clinching, holding, and landing those cheap shots below the belt. It was like wrestling mixed with boxing, and Mayweather had to deal with it all. His dirty tactic really threw Floyd off in the ring. Or moving his hands. He's going to have a problem in this fight. Let Maidana know he's varying the offense. And of course, Maidana. The awkwardness helps him. He has a good right hand there. Chopping right hand and another overhand right by Maidana all over Mayweather in round number one. This is where Maidana is difficult to deal with. We have not seen Mayweather in this posture in a long time. Will he come back? Robert Garcia told us that Maidana has to average 100 punches per round in order to defeat. smothering Mayweather's counter-attack. Mayweather trying to catch his shoot now. Oh, no. Mayweather now turning the tables, has Maidana along the ropes. Fantastic oh, no, no, no. opening round of action, and oh, that Don't one below that. the belt. Do that. An amazing atmosphere in Vegas. This fight with Maidana was an absolute war. Mayweather was forced to dig deep and find a way to neutralize Maidana's aggression. The champion's face was swelling and covered with cuts and bruises. This fight showcased Mayweather's ability to adapt and overcome adversity. Not to mention this guy sent Mayweather's tooth flying. That surely became the highlight of the night. The fight of the century, Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao, lived up to the hype in terms of anticipation, but fell short in terms of all-out action. However, 
it was still a high-level chess match between two of the greatest boxers of their generation. Pacquiao, with his lightning-fast hands and devastating power, was a formidable opponent for anyone. His ability to fight at different ranges made him a difficult puzzle to solve. Mayweather, as always, was up to the challenge. The champion's boxing IQ was on full display as he managed to get the hang of Pacquiao's speed and power. But there were moments when it felt like Pacquiao was going to end the night early. The left hand, I mean, over the left tail, he landed a beautiful play left lead. That's what the fight. A better understanding, though, of the need to develop angles and not come straight down the middle. Although that left hand landed for Pacquiao and maybe hurt Floyd Mayweather. They were covering up and protecting. While the fight lacked the explosive action many had hoped for, it showcased the brilliance of both fighters. Mayweather's ability to control the tempo and distance was as clear as day, while Pacquiao's flashes of brilliance kept the fight interesting. Although the fight didn't leave Mayweather with the same visible scars as his previous battles, it was a mental and physical test that solidified his legacy as the pound-for-pound -pound king. So there you have it, folks. Floyd Mayweather, the undefeated champion, faced some incredibly tough opponents throughout his career. These fighters pushed him to his limits, leaving their mark on the greatest boxer of his generation. While Mayweather's record is flawless, it's these battles that truly define his legacy. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.